Hey guys, Josh back here, and I've been telling you guys there was an update come. I know I've been out for a couple weeks, a couple of technical difficulties, but despite everything, uh, I'm here with the update. Here to show you guys what the way has been about. It's a big upgrade to the car. I'm sure some of you already guessed it. In fact, I know some of you already guessed it, but here it is. Two hundred and fifty amp excessive amperage alternator, an external regulator. Nate hooked it up here. Great guy, great customer service. You ever need a big alt? Good customer service. Talks to Nate at excessive amperage. It's three three four seven one two nine nine five five. Real cool guy. This unit here has an external regulator, like I said. This is the field wire here that he soldered in. 8 gauge. And then got right here, got the positive, negative, and field. And a little knob to turn it up and down as far as the voltage goes. Those things just correlate with the bolts. This is the field wire. Then I got a little. 5 pin relay. If you ever need to see how to hook this up, uh, like I did, Nate has a video on his channel showing exactly step by step how to hook an, an external regulator up. Very helpful. And like I said, a real cool guy. A little bit closer look here. There's the positive post there. It's a beast here. This is much bigger than my factory alternator. Been a couple years now I've been running my factory alternator. And uh, now I had the money. It's about time I got something beast. So here it is. Got the factory alternator here. Got zero gauge and all that. And uh, got this factory plug here. And tell you guys a little bit how to hook this up. You got the alternator, sure regulator. Like I said, remember this is the field wire. That's what they call it. And on this external regulator here, they got positive, negative, and field, which directly correlate with positive, negative, and field. So, first off, the field wire here goes straight to the field wire on here. But then you got positive and negative. This were requires a little paying attention, but it's not that hard. I went and got a little relay, a little five pin relay. So we put exactly what Nate showed. It has five pins. You do not use the middle one, you just use that top, bottom, left, and right. The way it works is you gotta have a ignition wire, like a ignition positive, and then a constant positive, and then you want to ground. So what you do is you do 10, 10 gauge or 8 gauge, whatever you want to use. You got 87, and then 86, and then 30, and then 85. The uh, top one here is the positive that's going to go to the regulator. So basically, this one right here is the constant and this one right here is the switched uh, ignition positive. So, you take your constant positive and run it to number 30 pin. And you take your accessory ignition positive and run it to the 86 pin right here. Then, out of the 87 pin, you run a wire from it to the positive on the regulator. That takes care of your positives. Then you got the ground which is pin 85. You ground that to wherever. Um, a good ground on your body of your car or frame or whatever. And then you also take the ground on this and ground it to the same ground with the same wire. That takes care of that relay and that way it'll come on when your car comes on and go off when your car goes off. And another thing I forgot to add. I know this video might seem kind of choppy but I'm trying to include everything. This right here is called a potentiometer. I think I got that right, a potentiometer. Has a wire here. 
and that's what you'll just you'll turn it right here you just turn it like a volume knob back and forth and that's how you can regulate your voltage whether you want to go up or down or you know whatever um but i would obviously set it responsibly you don't crank it up all crazy like and you know burn stuff up but i think i'm gonna mount try to mount my regulator up there we'll see how it goes but anyways also got another little update for you guys check it out got the amp rack but wait there's no amp <laughs> i just sent it off the other day i'm making a trade not gonna say what the new amp's gonna be but i will say it's gonna be getting about 4,000 watts RMS. That VR 4,000 I did have, I was not seeing 4,000 because I had I had it wired at 3 ohms because <laughs> the sub was wired up and you know all the resistance basically in the end is what 3 ohms. So it wasn't hard to see in full potential out of that 4,000. But I will say I'm gonna be running this new amp at 0.7. I went and took the sub out the other day and actually added lugs. Um, I used to have just two there, but I added two more down here, so I can switch up the wiring with whether I want it parallel or series. Right now, I got it in series. The new amp, I got it in parallel and wear it down to 0.7. And uh, yep, that's the update for you guys. I relocated the amp rack a little bit, separated it from the box, so it doesn't have as much vibration. Can't see the 500 much anymore because there's a little black piece of wood over it. But anyway, it's got the wires chilling, and uh, that'll be another update video here yeah, in the let's future. Get this thing out. Get everything hooked up. I'm gonna use the factory constant and factory ignition wires off this plug. That's what I'm gonna use for the regulator, like I explained earlier. So I'll come back at you when I get a little progress. Well, guys, after a couple hours, we got the new alternator in here. Excessive amperage, 250 amp high output alternator with an external regulator up here. We got the factory wire here, <clears throat> zero gauge coming in here, that bolt there, and I got the field wire. This is the factory harness for the factory alternator that I tied in the accessory ignition and constant that goes up to the relay right here. Then I got the ground. For the regulator and the ground for the relay right there. Nice to sand it clean. Got the field wire there to the alternator. Everything run nice and clean. Zip ties for the win. And it's cranking nice. It's good. I got it set to run at 14.6 right now. This little guy. I just put the excess down there. I, it does have a little nut. You could mount it inside the vehicle, but. I said heck with it, so I just mount it there. And as you can see, we didn't really have a good place to mount it. So, to keep it above the line right here, we had space over there. We wanted to keep it right here with the alternator. So we actually put this MDF here, 3 quarter inch MDF. And then put this little bracket here to the strut mount. And just mounted it right there and there. It's a nice little platform for everything to sit on. Nice fit, hood shuts and everything, it's all good to go. Right at 14.6, jumping to 14.7 here and there. Got the AC on second notch. Huh. Yeah, it's the gas light right there. Because uh, we're poor. Gas prices are way too high these days. But it's just idling there, just chilling. 800 or so RPMs, 14.6. Just chilling, idling. Very nice. And as I said, I don't have my amp in right now, so I can't really. Uh, can't really do a load test or anything, but anyway, it's all running good. Everything's running good under there, and uh, got all the tools and stuff here. Here's the old crappy alternator and the old bracket. So 
Yeah, all the tools and crap. Got a nice little uh, chrome uh, bracket there for mounting the alternator. Everything seems good to go. Now we're even it out here of 14.6. Very nice. Excessive amperage for the win. Nate for the win. Great customer service. He was uh, willing to help me with any questions I had. And uh, good shipping, good communication. Definitely a great guy, good company. I would definitely recommend them for any high output alternators any guy needs. And uh, we'll see how it holds up against this new amp that I got coming in. That would be a nice little surprise. But Anyways, also just, just a little side note. This thing you can set to go up above 15 volts. So it does go a bit higher. I just have it set for my purposes about 14.6 right now just for daily driving. But anyways, nice clean wire and everything. Got it hooked up. And it's performing good. So hope you guys like this little review. And uh, hit, hit up uh, Excessive Amperage if you need anything. Number again is 334. 712-9955 and uh, Nate's the owner there talk to him, he's a great guy and he'll hook you up hey, so, you feel a little <laughs> DJ slow and throw Check, check.